We're in virtually every autonomous vehicle development effort today and many on the road already. If you buy a Tesla today that has their new autopilot, that's powered by NVIDIA. We're a Silicon Valley company. We were founded in, in 1993 and initially our focus was on 3D graphics. About a decade ago though, we started really evolving our GPU into what's now known as, as a massively parallel processor. You've probably heard of a CPU, the central processing unit into a computer. And this is a serial processor. It basically does one thing at a time in sequence. Well, the GPU now is a massively parallel processor. So we now have a processor, it's about the size of your thumbnail. That's the equivalent of 150 laptops. We have information coming into the car through sensors. We have cameras that are generating lots of frames of video. We have radar or LIDAR, which is a laser scanner. So a massive amount of information, could be gigabytes of information coming in to the car. And we need to process that. And so the only way to do that is with a GPU that can simultaneously take all this information in and try to make sense of it. Careful, there is a bicycle on the right 45 feet ahead. We're a GPU computing company, and that means both visual processing, but also artificial intelligence. Amazon, Microsoft, Google, or Baidu, they're all using our GPU as the fundamental engine behind their systems. So essentially, the old technique was to write software and try to figure out, is that a pedestrian? Is that a car? Is that a sign? Instead, what we're doing is using artificial intelligence to interpret that data. With one of our test vehicles, we call it BB-8, wasn't explicitly told what different objects were, but we had it watch a professional driver. So we drove it 3,000 miles around New Jersey, cars watching the environment and monitoring what the professional's driver is doing. It was able to correlate then those imagery, sensor inputs, and the steering wheel angle, for example. It would be able to follow the lane markings, but if the lanes disappeared, maybe the road had been recently repaved, it didn't panic like a system that was trained explicitly to read the lane markings. It was able to drive like you or I would drive. You would just stay on the right side of the road. Each of the cars is collecting information, and collectively, they're making the fleet smarter. We're working with over 200 different companies that are developing autonomous vehicles. I think what we're seeing, though, is companies recognize that A, this is a great market, but B, you need a massive amount of computational horsepower inside the vehicle. It validates our approach of putting a supercomputer in the car. I don't know anybody else who's developed an AI supercomputer for the car.